Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, I didn't see all that. Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good with y'all? It's your boy, SMTD Jersey here, and I'm about to get stomped on some bra holla trying to do this story time Saturday. Um, but y'all already know, if y'all enjoy the story, like the video and subscribe, and uh, turn on post notifications so you never miss another story. Um... Now, as you read from the title, ooh, good, okay. As you read from the title, this story is about what this you read uh, what this story is about. Now, if y'all didn't know, I'm like a I'm like a A class weeb, right? Like I always am watching anime. Not uh, not every day. I try not to watch it every day because I can find myself not sleeping if I watch it every day. So like I have set days where I just watch anime, and I just don't go to sleep those days, right? Um. Now, I will say this. Truthfully, I didn't didn't really like you know mess with anime. Like I never was the person to be like, "Ew, you watch anime? You're weird," right? But my uncle was the one who truly got me into anime. He uh, he would always come over for like, um, you know, special occasions, obviously. But um, because of that, he would always stay up really late, and I would too. And you know, on Adult Swim, they play like they play Dragon Ball Z on there. So he told me to watch it. So technically, I can state my first anime was Dragon Ball Z GT. And it was the Shadow Dragon Saga where it was right as soon as Shin Shenron turned... Not right as soon as Shin Shenron. It was, it was in the part where, where um, Shin Shenron became Omega Shenron and Goku and Vegeta fused to make Vegeta Super Saiyan 4. Um, and... When, during that when, when during that fight, that is when I truly realized that I liked anime, right? So you can I can genuinely state that Gogeta is the sole reason why I like anime, which is the reason why the Nar oh not Nar the the uh, Broly movie was so impactful for to for me because they actually made Gogeta and Broly canon. Now. Um, Broly, just because, you know, Broly, if you've seen any of the movies, because after I watched that, I started watching Dragon Ball Z movies, and, you know, Broly's been in, like, four of them. I think he's been in four, like, four exactly. But, um, yeah, so, but that truly really wasn't the main one. The one that got me mad hooked into anime was, uh, it's kind of... <laughs> kind of funny I, I like to make fun of people who watch only mainstream an animes now but like all of the ones that are mainstream of course you everyone's watched them right but like and they're they're like either if they're not your favorite they're at least close to being your favorite now I'm dead uh, with that being said the anime that truly the truly truly messed up my whole cerebral cortex and got me into only liking anime and not being able to watch regular cartoons is was the man, the myth, the legend himself, Naruto. And the only reason why I'm making this story is because I found out that the creators of Naruto and One Piece were best friends and they were both influenced from Akira Toriyama, which if you don't know is the creator of Dragon Ball Z and I just thought that was really cool. That, and that the both of those inspired me to or not inspired me but sort of well I guess inspired me cuz you know Naruto gave me the attitude of never giving up like even when everything goes down and there's not much more you can do you know you know never give up that bio uh but Naruto messed me up Naruto was so long and it was so good that each in each episode kept me mad entertained. Like I, I could watch I, I I've watched Naruto Shippuden like eleven times. Like I can continuously watch I can continuously watch Naruto and not have a single 
problem. Um, but um, uh, see, for the new generation, like people that just started watching Naruto, or not Naruto, just started watching, it's kind of hard for them to get into Naruto just because of the simple fact that it's so long. So instead, most of the people, whenever I tell them that, like, oh, yeah, you would like Naruto, they watch um, My Hero instead, which is a good, like, secondary option. I'm not going to lie. It's not, that, it's not that bad, right? But it'll never, it'll never top the OG, you feel me? It'll never top the OG. Nothing will top the OG. Now, Nar now Naruto, basically what it did is, is it filled this little gap of, I, I don't know, like, the state of mind that I was in, Naruto just filled it. And it, I have, like, a nostalgia factor, like, on the same level that, that we have with games, I have with Naruto, like, like, every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, dude, I remember watching this episode for the first time, I remember, I can remember my reactions clearly, but, like I said, it wasn't like I was just searching for the anime, what had happened is, is, is I had, this is really weird, because I'm, I'm a nosy person. I was sitting on the bus going to a Charlotte Hornets game, and somebody was watching Gara fight Sasuke for the first time. And then after, like, I was just sitting there watching it, because he was watching it on a computer. And I was just sitting there watching it. And I was like, yeah, I like this. And then, I, and then me being the shy person I was, I asked my mom to ask him what he was watching. And then he said Naruto, and I was like, Okay, we're going to go do some research. And then I watched it. And then I continuously watched it. So, yeah. I watch Naruto, like, I always have, a, like, a rerun of Naruto every week. Like, I will, watch, I will watch Naruto, like, a couple episodes of Naruto once every week. Um, that's why I've watched this so many times. Now, with that being said... Of course, of course, I'm going to continue on. Now, I took a little break from anime after Naruto. Like, I just kept watching Naruto over again. So it wasn't really a break, but I took a little break. And then I was like, I'm going to start watching Netflix anime. Or not Netflix anime. I was going to start watching Netflix. And then I found the anime category on Netflix. And I started watching SAO. Sword Art Online, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I got into that show mad hard off rip and, uh, what had happened is, is, is that's when I had met SMTD Eclipse. So this was about freshman year of high school, sophomore year, I think maybe, no, sophomore year, sophomore year. Um, so I, we became friends, and I was just, like, I was blabbing on and on about the new show I was watching, and then, um, pretty much anyone can tell I was interested in the show, because I was, I was mad interested, the show was amazing, the show was amazing, and then, that's how SMTD Eclipse got into watching anime, is by listening to me talk about SAO, and then finally watching SAO. Now... I know he watched it with knowing the entire plot, which was kind of sad. But, I mean, it still wasn't like I told him everything. I told him, like, the majority of the things, but not everything. But, I mean, I just, like, it was, it was so good that I just felt like talking about it. Like, I just couldn't restrain myself from talking about it. Which... Which is rare. Which was rare for me. I, I, the only thing I could do that with was Naruto at that time. Now I can say I can blab on about like thirty different animes if you wanted me to go on about it. But, but then, then after I started watching, or after I watched Sao, I watched like Blue Exorcist and a whole bunch of other things. But truthfully, those three anime, with the inclusion of Fairy Tail got me made into, like, legit, legit, just not watching anything else. Naruto was the one that, Naruto was the one that sealed it. Or, no, Dragon Ball Z was the one that got me interested. Naruto was the one who sealed it. Um, Naruto was definitely the one that sealed it. And then SAO was the one that 
put the lock on it, and then Fairy Tail was the one that lost the keys. Now, cur- now currently speaking, I've seen like, like, more animes that I can count. I don't just stick to mainstream. I watch. Uh, I can watch original animes. I can watch pretty much any anime that I wish to watch. But those four right there were the main ones that really truly captivated me and it also made me realize that when you truly do love something you'll find a way like you will find a way cuz you know anime really doesn't play on TV it doesn't really I mean besides Dragon Ball Z it doesn't so i had to like figure out ways to do this but it wasn't a problem to me cuz i wanted to do it which it truly shows to me that when when the human mind is set on something, they will find a, it will find a way to do it. And whether or not we truly like to do the work required to get what we want um, is the true only topic. I guess. But I just think that it was wild to me that thinking back on it now, it was wild to me that. I was this intrigued into watching something even speak speak my language language because no, I was not watching it in sub. I did watch Dragon Ball Z in sub. I mean, I was not watching it in dub. I mean, uh, but I did watch Dragon Ball Z in dub, and then I watched it. In, but like, I was this intrigued in watching something that isn't even my language that currently in the friend group that I had was being made fun of. People who watch anime was being made fun of. Like at that time, it was like it was just. It was just weird to me that I wanted to be a part of the group that was being made fun of and this and that. And I just, and then I just think it's, I just thought it was pretty funny to me. But of course, like, I never even really had any problems with watching anime. Like, even when, even when I, even when I switched over to sub, I actually like sub better. I mean, most people that watch anime like sub better. Um, but like, it was so strange to me, and it was strange to well, like, but like I was saying though, it really wasn't that strange to my family though, because they said that they all went through phases when they watched anime. But I don't think mine's a phase. I think I just truly do enjoy watching anime. I I've always liked other cultures, like I've always liked that. Like I've always been that type of person that likes other cultures. I don't really like, for some reason for me. Anything that Americans do kind of bothers me. Like, any of my friends will tell you, if an American does something good, I'm the first person to criticize it. Like, they could have done it better, or this and that. But that's just, I guess that's just a part of being a part of it. When I, when I look, look, at, look at something from another country, like, when I look at TV shows in general, like, like any TV show that's from a different country in a different language that has subtitles or movies like um, Dollywood, um, Dollywood movies. Now, some I'll think they're pretty pretty bad, but at the same time, I'm pretty much intrigued the entire time. Like I'll watch the movie in full, watch the TV show in full, um, learn the traditions in full, and then if I don't like it, then then I don't like it. But otherwise, I kind of just, I kind of am just weird where I just like pretty much everything that another country does, but I hate the things that my own country does, which is so just like, I guess weird to me, but it does, it does prove what I'm saying though, that when the human body, when the human mind wants something done, it'll find a way to get it done. And it also proves that really you need to find something that you like. Because watching anime kind of rea- like it gives me energy. Like it, it doesn't make me feel depressed or sad or anything. It makes me feel good. And I feel like you need that like as a source of relaxation. Because that's really what TV is. Instead of being all stressed, like I can come home from a day at school because I don't work anymore, but I could have when I did work. Um, you, I can just come home, turn on anime, and it doesn't matter what anime it is, I'm relaxed and now having a great time. 
and it's a really good stress for me. So I feel like everyone needs to find a good, a good, a good stress reliever and something that can just something that something that you love to do. Like if it's playing video games, it's playing video games, which is another one for me. Is playing video games. Um, if it's knitting scarves, um, then knit scarves when you're stressed. But I just don't feel like, because when people are stressed out, that's when bad things happen. That is when, like, people get hurt and fights break out. And I just don't feel like they're necessary. As, as long as you find something that you truly enjoy, you should never be that stressed. This guy's good. I just don't think that that kind of stress is necessary. I mean, unless you're, you're, unless, you're unless there's nothing that you can do to clear it, which I highly doubt that there's nothing you can do. I think that there's there's always something to help everyone. It doesn't matter what person you are. It doesn't matter what background you come from. It doesn't matter who your parents are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your race. Doesn't matter your income. Does not matter. Any part does not matter. But I just feel like you know. I just feel like. I just feel like people try to stress them out too much. Try try to stress each other out way too much. And instead of looking on the fun parts and the relaxing parts of life, everyone kind of just focuses on the bad. And that's no that's no fun. That's no fun. We're not supposed to be here. We're we're not here for a long time. We're here for a fun time. And that 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 was a message relayed to me from my mom. Well, not from my mom. Uh, well, it was from my mom's Facebook, but she showed it to me, and I was like, "Yeah, I felt like that's more true." She really didn't. She really didn't like it, but I feel like that's true. It, we're not really. We weren't really here for a long time, anyway. You feel me? Like we're we're just here to have a fun time. And really just have fun, you feel me? Like I just don't feel like I just don't feel like stressing over anything is really important. But I guess that's just me being me. I don't really stress over anything. Like I could be doing the worst in class and I st well no, nah, I'm never doing the worst in class. But I could be doing pretty bad and I won't really stress over anything. I just don't I just don't feel like stress is important. Now Sorry to ramble on about this for like 17 minutes, but I feel like this was a good message. Um, and uh, like I like to do in all of these, I like to give a shout out to the boys, SMTD Eclipse. Um, we've been playing the most games recently. Um, still got a higher rank than you in uh, Overwatch. Um, shout out to uh, SMTD Fate. That's the man, the myth, the legend right there. Uh, shout out to SMTD Lee. I ain't talked to him in a minute. And then shout out to the whole SMTD clan organization, which just just welcomed me with open arms. And uh, with that being said, I'm out. Peace out.